it was around March 10th when the news hit like a clenched fist. And then it began to spread quicker than COVID did. And I assume that's when the rumors started to bloom because no one knew exactly what happened. But since every death could be seen as tragic, I can only imagine the sadness when they have to speak of him in the past tense. In fact, his Facebook page will be the rage for the next few days. As his timeline is flooded with praying hands and crying eyes. And I suppose that those who knew him most will post photos with memories of times going by. Some will even say they were just with him yesterday. But ain't it fucked up? How sometimes death comes with no warning. And there's no relief from the type of grief that we receive in the morning. Plus there's no peace in the morning. Just an outpouring of remorse from those who adore him. And a broken family that has to deal with the fact that he's gone. But they'll all come together now. Because the only time there's unity is when we gather for the eulogy. And there'll be no those who never stood for an altar call, now standing in line at the altar to recall, but two minutes won't be enough. For them to summarize what they did, being that they've been friends since kids, and he knew that it wouldn't be a long service because when the preacher starts preaching about repentance, It'll make them all nervous. And he specifically asked for Phil, Dre, Corey, and Jamal to be his pallbearers. But before they close that lid, somebody tell his family not to cry. Because he's entered into the protection of God's watchful eye, so he'll be fine. So the tears won't subside. At least not tonight, so say goodbye. When you realize Damn. Rod died.